The QT Data Explorer provides an easy-to-use interface to access massive online geospatial data repositories and stack servers, or one's own local holdings through QT's file caches and indexes. Let's take a closer look at the QT Data Explorer tool. The tool is accessed by going to Import, QT Data Explorer. And I'm looking for some data of the stadiums in Philadelphia. So I'm going to use my scroll wheel to zoom in and my right mouse button to pan. Alternatively, I can also hold down the Control key and wherever my cursor is hovered over, that's where I'm going to scroll into. So hold down Control, hover my mouse over Philadelphia, and use my scroll wheel to zoom into Philadelphia. And here I can see my stadiums using the Google Maps Hybrid WMS. This WMS can be changed and toggled on and off using this button. Or I could load in some local imagery if I don't have a network. I have a few options on how to define my AOI. I can use the lasso tool to draw an AOI around my area of interest. I can edit it by dragging the nodes or move the entire area by dragging the center node. I can also use this button here to import from an existing feature. I can click this button to define my AOI based on a center point, or I can set the AOI to my current map extent, which I'll do now. Once I have my AOI, if I want to preserve it, I would click on the export AOI to file. There are a few built-in stack servers to choose from, the most robust being the Microsoft Planetary Computer, so I definitely recommend that being your starting point. If you'd like to hit some of your local files using cache or QT indexes, click on the load file and just point to the index or cache file. Now that I'm all set with my AOI, I'm going to go ahead and click Find Collections. And you'll also note that I can filter my collection results either by date or by specific keywords. I'm going to click on Find Collections. And after a quick search, I can see all these various stack collections. They range from land use land covers, uh, climate impact studies, cloud cover, uh, NAEP imagery, MODIS satellite, and a few others. But to really get started in QT, we're going to focus on our LiDAR point cloud collections from the USGS, and also choose a LiDAR digital surface model. Go ahead and click Find Items. We can see there's a few hits. By using my left mouse button, I can click on a few. I can also hold down control if I want to select multiples. And if we zoom out a little bit farther, you can also see that there's a very large DSM that it also collected. So if I want to focus on that larger DSM, as well as the point cloud of my stadiums, I have those two selected. And I've got a few options here on how to load it into QT. And I'm just going to click load selected items into QT as models. So you can see it takes us to our fourth tab at this point to download queue. If I want to preserve all these files, all these files are going to be downloaded to temp files. But if I want to preserve them after the fact, I can just keep that checked, keep all downloaded files. And by clicking that folder, I can set the download location. So as it's downloading, we can see its progress as it's moving. But also note that you can use Qt at this point. So now that the DSM has finished downloading, I can move this off to the side and minimize it. And I can continue to use Qt modeler just as I normally would. I have a DSM here. Um, I can do my line of sights and my change detection, volume calculations, and all my different analysis of a typical DSM. When loading in data for the first time, I also like to load in some imagery. So I'm going to click on Import Texture from WMS. I have my Google Maps Hybrid. I'm going to click on Retrieve and Accept. And I can close that window. So let me take a quick look to see our status on our download. Looks like it's at about 64%. And we have an ETA of about 25 seconds at this point. Now that the file has completed downloading, it was a LAS file, which means it needs to be unpacked. So Qt Modeler is decompressing the LAS file into a LAS file and loading that resulting LAS file into Qt Modeler as a point cloud. So this will be finishing up. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this Qt Data Explorer window again. And you can see the point cloud had just turned on. I'm going to turn off my surface model. And I can zoom in on my point cloud here of the Philadelphia stadiums. So unless you had those keep downloaded files checked, uh, these again are temporary files. They'll go away if you close QT. Um, but they're loaded in just like any other point cloud would. If you want to preserve these point clouds for later on, right click the LAS file and go to export and choose a LAS or LAS to export that file locally. If you have any other questions about the QT Data Explorer tool, 
please reach out to us.